my amazing Viking friends out there. It is Halloween. And yes, I have a spooky story for you. But first, what is Halloween without roasted something? So I'm going to use these franks to roast over the fire while I tell you ghost stories. So let's get started. Purple noise in the distance, shadows on the water. War cry erupts, steel clash sounding harder. Viking drums pound, heartbeats quicken in the night. Call of the raven, signal for the fight. Axes swing, warriors march in no retreat. Thunder and steps, war drums sink, heavy beats. Blood on the fjords, glory for the fall Stories are told in firelight Legends growing old Legends growing old First I pulled this stick off of a tree And we have to disinfect the top So I'm sticking it in the fire You never know where it's been Besides on a tree Or who's been on it besides birds. So I am disinfecting the top in the fire, smoking hot. I don't know if this is actually a good thing or a bad thing, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, we're gonna stick a couple of hot dogs on here. In America, they're hot dogs or franks. And the reason why I love this time of year is because I can scare people and get away with it, actually. I have an ongoing prank with a friend, and this year I put a spook box in her house in a hidden location. And she thinks the sound is coming from her sink, but I actually put it behind the toilet. So every time she goes to sit on the toilet, her sink scratches and growls and she's terrified and I love it <laughs> and now friends it is time to scare you so have a seat and let's tell a story in a remote fjord long after the sun had set a group of Viking warriors returned from a failed raid their ship, battered and weary, slipped into the misty harbor. As they disembarked, the air grew heavy, and a chilling fog rolled in. And I'm getting inundated with smoke. <clears throat> Very apropos. As the men made their way to the village, and I'm pretty sure there's a woman in there too, because women are like that. They whispered tales of the Draugr. The undead creatures cursed to guard their treasures and haunt the living. Skeptical, the leader, Bjorn, laughed it off. Ghosts don't scare warriors like us. But that night, shadows danced at the edges of the village. One by one, the men awoken by a chilling wail echoing from the woods. And they stumbled out of their longhouses. And they were quite scared, actually. And this poor hot dog is getting eviscerated. <laughs> As it cooks. <laughs> we'll just keep it on here. Oh my gosh, this is... This is impaled. This is impaled. Oh, that is hot. That is hot. Okay, I'm gonna try a little further. Dogs! Dogs! Come! Come on! Oh, she's looking. Come here! Come here! Come here! Who's gonna do it first? Who's gonna do it first? There we are, my little fat dog. Are you gonna come here, little pumpkin? Come on. Come on. Here you go, there you go. 
All right, I need another Frank because, well, it's. <laughs> oh, look, Frank. Hi, frankly, that was awesome. Well, I'm gonna disinfect this first. I don't know if I need to disinfect it. But we'll, we'll run it through anyway. The fire's going out, but there is a nice bit of coals right here. We'll get that all heated up again. Covered with ash. Hey, look, you can ask me a question. No, this, this one's mine. This one's mine, little baby girl. Now they know where the Franks are. At least the chickens are not begging. They can get quite squawky. Okay, I'm not gonna go so far. I'm just gonna go up to there and see what happens. Ew. Hold on just a second. Let me go wipe this down. <laughs> okay. Now that that crisis has been averted, we're gonna talk about these men stumbling out of the longhouses because they heard the wailing of a strange creature in the night. So they stumbled out of the longhouses. I can imagine half of them dressed, half of them not, which would definitely be scary. And they all had their weapons in hand only to find a ghastly figure by the fjord, a draugr with hollow eyes and a tattered garment and screechy face. It beckoned them, its voice a raspy whisper. You have taken what is not yours. Now pay the price. The warriors' hearts were pounding, and they felt an icy grip on their souls. And one by one, they fell into the ground, and they were paralyzed by the fear they felt. And as dawn broke, the village lay silent. The only sound was a gentle lapping of the waves against the shore. And the draugr had vanished. But in its place, the villagers found that the longhouses were empty and only one shield lay on the ground. And it was covered in the draugr's breathly frost. It bore the mark of Bjorn, the once proud leader, now lost to the darkness, forever bound by the fjord just like the treasure he sought. And from that day, the villagers spoke in a hushed tone about the cursed warriors, warning anyone who dared to venture too close to the misty shores, for the draugr still wandered, hungry for the living. And that, my friends, is the scary story I have this night. <laughs> Sweet dreams. And meanwhile, I am waiting for my Frank to get warm enough to eat. The fire went out. And I think that, my friends, is the worst part of the story. A cold fire and a hungry Viking. Meanwhile, my friends, if you find this content amazing or even worthwhile, please subscribe and, well, hit that like button because you want to see more. And as always, we get to Raven's call, echo, battle cry, press end. Drums of war dictate, no place to pretend. War is dead, strong, faith in their head. It looks fantastic. It's not the most wonderful presentation. Excuse you. I know, right? But I'm going to try it out anyway.
a little felt. Mm. Definitely a really well smoked Frank in the crisp Halloween air. That does it, my friends. And I just want to tell you for reference, it is Halloween. And I hope you have the spookiest Halloween this year. Skull!